This is August and some of you are probably already at the end of your growing season. So you probably don't care about cutting runners off at this point in the season. But if you're looking at growing strawberries or this is the first year you've planted strawberries, this is something you should keep in mind for next year. Hey y'all, I'm Renee and welcome to Tater Town. I wanna to talk with you today about strawberry runners or stolons. This is how a strawberry plant basically continues to reproduce. And what happens is this is your mother plant and it sends out a runner and you get a daughter plant. And when it roots, it'll send out another generation. But you may be asking, well, what do I do with these runners? Do I keep them? Do I cut them? Can I cut them? What's the point? First reason you would want to trim back your solens is you want to allow that plant to have enough energy to grow, especially that first year after planting, and to create an abundant crop with large berries. The best way to do this is go ahead and cut most of your runners and only let a few of them survive. Remember, they're also sometimes called suckers because they are taking energy from the mother plant. So energy that is going to create the second plant is being taken away from your crop of strawberries. You'll still get strawberries, but it may not be, they may not be very big fruit or you may not get an abundant crop. If you have like six or seven runners, suckers coming off the mother plant. Once these take root, you can see that it's already starting to root. And what that looked like before it got to this point was this. It will find a place, settle down, and start to root. This one here has already rooted. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it away from the mother because it doesn't need to get any more energy from the mother to survive. I don't really want a third generation, so I'm gonna cut that one off and just keep this one. The cool thing is, if you wanted to do it before it roots, say this isn't rooted yet, but you wanna plant it somewhere else in a totally different area, you can get yourself a little pile of dirt or a little planter, put it in there, stake it down with something, and wait for it to root. And then when it's done rooting, you can go ahead and plant that somewhere else. With being able to move it, that's the beauty, is you don't have to let it grow randomly. You can position your strawberry runners where you want them to grow. Say you want to fill this space in here, but it's kind of over here somewhere, you can just move it, kind of tuck it in a little bit and put a rock on it so that it doesn't go anywhere else. And that way you can fill in any bare spots. The other reason you probably want to get rid of your runners is this. This bed is so crowded that I've got straw rays trying to get out. This is a bed that I planted last year. And as you can see in this picture, this is what it looked like in May. So three months ago, it is now taking up the entire bed and it's massive. I have all of these runners because I was lazy this year and I didn't keep up with getting rid of them. So now I need to come in and I need to get rid of all of these runners because even if you have an entire acre dedicated to strawberries, you don't want them to be too crowded because it's going to affect the fruit production and the health and quality of the plant. Earlier this year, I realized that as I was working in the bed, I have an allergy to the strawberry plants. So I have these, which are cut resistant, which helps for working with the raspberries too. But in order to get in here, I need to wear long sleeves or some sort of glove. And you may too, if you have an issue with it. I will try and find where the mother plant is and cut them off. I also like to prune the leaves that are dying or dead. So here's where it connects to the mother. And see, it'll just keep doing this on and on and on. You really don't need that many. If anybody wants some extra strawberry plants, let me know, I've got a ton of them. But that's the beauty. Strawberries are relatively easy to grow. There's three types of strawberries. You have day neutral, June bearing, and ever bearing. And some of them will put off more runners than others. That is actually a day neutral and for whatever reason, it has a tremendous amount of runners. This was supposed to be ever bearing, which also I don't believe is supposed to have a lot of runners. 
but as you can see, it has just completely overtaken the bed. Keep up with it so it doesn't become so much of a chore like this is gonna be for me over the next couple days. And my back's really gonna hurt doing this. One of the other things I like to do when I'm out uh, messing around with the strawberry, I'm gonna get rid of that guy, he's dead. One of the other things I like to do when I'm out checking on the plants, trimming and pruning, uh, when they start to flower, because these are perfect flowers, they have both male and female, one of the things I love to do is help mother nature out and rub my finger around the pistil and the stamen so that I can distribute the pollen. Obviously, these are outdoor, so you have bees, you have wasps, you have all kinds of insects that are distributing the pollen, but that doesn't mean they visit every single flower. So if you wanna help get a bigger yield from your plants, you can just help them out a little bit by lightly touching the flower. And that's it. This is just a quick video to help you out if you've never grown strawberries before. And if you have grown strawberries before, what do you like to do? Do you trim the runners throughout the season? How many do you keep? Another important question is, you know, usually you keep strawberries for about the plant itself for about two to three years, and then you want to let new ones grow and get rid of the old one. But I haven't, I haven't done that yet. So if you grow strawberries for years, you know, do you remove your old plants? I'd be interested to know. So let me know in the comments. And thanks again for hanging out with me on Tater Town. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more videos that will help you do those things you never thought you could.